Scientific writing is different from the English papers you might be used to, so we'll walk you through the five parts of a scientific paper and what goes into each part. Remember this acronym, AIM RED. Like a five paragraph essay, each section has a different purpose. A stands for abstract, I is introduction, M methods, R E results, and D is discussion. The abstract is the summary of your whole paper, so while it comes first, you should write it last, after everything else is done. We'll come back to this. The introduction sets the stage. Include your hypothesis and what's already known about your topic. What gap in that knowledge is your research filling? With methods, you'll describe in detail who was involved, what they did, where they did it, what materials they used to do it, and how the evidence was found. Your goal is to give enough details so someone could repeat it after reading your report. Details like maps, dates and times of your study, collection methods, equipment, and how you analyze data are all important to include. The results are where you share your findings. Tell us what you found, but not what you think. Save that for later. Be sure to include things like graphs for your analysis. The discussion is where you draw conclusions and share what you think your results mean. What's next? Does your research agree or disagree with previous findings? What new light does your work shed on the topic? Now you can write your abstract. It should be short and concise. An elevator pitch of what your paper is all about. Sum up each part in a few sentences. And congrats! You did it! You've written your scientific paper!